Welcome to Dark Knight Films Reviews and another action movie night. Tonight, I will be reviewing Cowboys and Aliens Extended Cut, released in 2011. Directed by John Favreau, from a script by Roberto Orki, Alex Kurtzman, Damon Lindelhoff, Mark Fergus, and Hawk Ostsby. Starring Daniel Craig, Harrison Ford, Olivia Wilde, Sam Rockwell, Noah Ringer, Paul Dano, Clancy Brown, Keith Carradine, and Adam Beach. Now, this film is a comic book adaptation, but it is a comic book that not many people would have known about. But who knows better about how to do a really good comic book adaptation than the man who brought us Iron Man himself, John Favreau. Now, this film is well put together as it follows a amnesiac man, played by Daniel Craig, who wakes up, doesn't remember anything, of course, and enters this town and is immediately lets us know that there's something more to him. He is very badass as a character. So um, when those elements of the aliens pop up, it, it really is kind of cool because you're not expecting them. Even though the title is Cowboys and Aliens, you almost forget it as you start watching this because it is is so well structured by John Favreau into being this traditional Western style vibe. And uh, no more better is that suited than the excellently portrayed character by Harrison Ford as Colonel Woodrow Dollar Hyde. And he is, this is the most unique and different kind of character that Harrison Ford has ever played in a film. I mean, he is just, he's almost like a villain character throughout this film early in it until it appears that the aliens are a bigger threat to us and the villain, Harrison Ford's character, is forced to team up with Daniel Craig's character. But, um... It is a very fun film, and you get a lot of really good performances by a lot of other actors, such as Clancy Brown, Sam Rockwell, um, Paul Dano, playing um, Dollar Hyde's son. He is so good in this. But the one performance that I like her as an actress, but and I liked her performance early in the film, was Olivia Wilde's character. She is really good early in the film, and then for whatever reason in the writing, they felt, and I don't know, I haven't read the comics, so I don't know if this was in there, but they make the choice of killing her character off and then revealing that she is another form of alien. And I just thought that was kind of... Mm, I, I, I didn't like that part of the film. It's probably the only negative I can really say about this film. The rest of it, the action sequences, the designs of the aliens, the um, battle sequences between Dollar Hyde's character and... Uh, Daniel Craig's character, they are great. They are well done. And like I said, you know, Olivia Wilde's character was so interesting up until the point where her character was killed and she's revealed to be this weird alien character. It's, and, it's, and it's just like, just keep her around as a regular freaking character. Don't go that route. And, or if you're going to kill her in this shock killing of the character, let her stay dead. Don't bring her back as this alien character. But um, the rest of the characters in this um, are really well played. Um, the sheriff character is played by Keith Carradine, and he he does a really good job in this. It's, it's something, you know, you, 
he's an actor that we haven't seen a lot of in recent years um, in anything major. So getting this pretty interesting little role here as the sheriff in this film was pretty interesting to see him do that. Um, and uh, he has some pretty good interactions with uh, Daniel Craig in here as well. So, but no more better of interactions are there than Harrison Ford and Daniel Craig with their characters because they have this instant animosity to each other. And of course, when the aliens are the bigger threat against them, they are when they they are forced to team together. It is just entertaining to see. It's just such a fun um, film. Like I said, if it wasn't for the Olivia Wilde part in this, with her being revealed to be this weird alien character, I probably would like it even more. I think it is a well-directed film. Um, for the most part, is well-written. It's well put together. It really, like I said early in the film, it feels like a traditional old school Western. So that is good. If you're making a Western mixed with a sci-fi film with aliens in it, it's, it's really cool to actually give you that actual feel of a true Western. And that is what John Favreau does throughout this film. And, uh, I got to give him credit for that. He does a really great job of doing that. Um, but overall, I'm going to give Cowboys and Aliens the extended cut from 2011. I am going to give this film a 8.7 out of 10. It is a excellent film um but even you know in the theatrical version you know and this is extended cut is even longer um it does kind of extend a little bit too long in my opinion i think it could have been compressed and made a little bit shorter and it would have been better like i said those scenes with olivia wilde becoming an alien it's those could have been stopped, you know, and just made her a permanent character throughout the film as just a normal character. And uh, I think it would have shortened the runtime considerably. Um, but what are you going to do? Um, but have you seen Cowboys and Aliens? And do you prefer the theatrical cut or the extended cut? Let me know in those comments down below. And as usual, if you enjoyed this review, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell icon so you can be notified about future videos just like this one. And while you're by the subscribe button, click that join button and become a Dark Knight fan. As a Dark Knight Fans Plus member, you have access to an area on the channel right now where you can request a movie, TV series, or ranking video of your choosing. And when that goes live, it will go up for all plus members to view prior to it becoming available for the general public. So if you want to get interactive, now is your opportunity. Well, that's it for another action movie night. If you missed last week's action movie night, check out the link above to get caught up on that one. And if you've missed any other videos, check out this down here where you can watch a playlist of any of our action movie nights that you have missed.